Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. Minister to us this morning. This we done with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. I be seated in his presence. Welcome you all this morning. And the theme for the service is no more limitations. And I pray that God will destroy every limitation in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever the limitation might be, I pray that God will destroy every limitation in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Last month we had uh, anointing service was entitled... Um, Grace for big ticket transactions, I believe. Grace for big ticket transactions. So, the week before, that's the upper week, the week before, towards the end of the week, God said to me, he said, uh, such levels of wealth and riches such levels of wealth and riches requires the person to praise God. When I say praise God, I'm not talking about uh, praise God and go and forget. Real heavy high praise for as long as it will take. He says such levels of wealth and riches, he says you have to praise me to enter into it. So coming to no more limitation. So what is a limitation? Anything that limits. Not so. So there is something that is called uh, a glass ceiling. Something referred to as a glass ceiling. So it can be maybe in a profession, a career, it can be in politics, it can be in the church, it can be in anything, which simply means that a certain level which certain persons or individuals cannot go beyond so, in an organization or office now, certain persons, for obvious and unobvious reasons, might not be able to go beyond that level. And that thing is called a glass ceiling. And they say that... Uh, the glass ceiling has to be broken or shattered. So a few years back, a woman called uh, Hillary Clinton broke a glass ceiling. She was the first female to have been a candidate for presidency on a major political party in the United States. She was the first person. So she broke that uh, glass ceiling, even though she didn't win. But uh, we saw what happened two years ago, and then a woman is picked as vice president because somebody else has been a pace setter. That person has shattered that taboo. You know, a glass ceiling is like a taboo. Oh, somebody from this place, somebody from that place. So Obama broke a glass ceiling, the first uh, black man to become president. You see, so it's now made it easier and acceptable. So when this man there now brought a black woman, this is my running mate, uh, the opposition that should have been was not as much as it was because certain people have broken that glass ceiling. Certain people have set a pace. So Obama broke the glass ceiling. Hillary Clinton broke the glass ceiling. And um, so that's basically what a glass uh, ceiling is. So we're uh, here now. This is the ceiling. And then you have uh, concrete on top of it and until you get to the roof at the very top. You know. 
Mark 2, 1 to 4. Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was not that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together, and so much that there was no room to receive him, to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. And he preached the word unto them. And they came unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed where in the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins are forgiven thee. So we see certain limitations in this man's life or in his situation and circumstances. His first limitation is paralysis, stroke. He cannot walk by himself. It's... Uh, Probably totally bedridden because now you have four people carrying him. So probably he has is paralyzed in both hands and uh, both legs. And four people have to carry him. So sickness itself can be a limitation. The second limitation, there was no room in the house. There was no room in the house. There were too many people. So... Multitude or crowd can also be a limitation to a person getting uh, healing or breakthrough or whatever it is. Then uh, they broke the ceiling. They removed the limitation. If there is no room to come through the door, then we'll come through the roof and the ceiling. And they uncovered uh, and removed the limitation. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said, son, Thy sins be forgiven thee. That was another limitation, sin. So, his illness or sickness was probably as a result of something that he had done, a transgression that he had committed. So, sickness can be natural, it can be spiritual, it can come as a result of transgression. I pray for you this morning. Every limitation in your life be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe you came here in a, in a vehicle, your own vehicle. That vehicle has a tank, a fuel tank. And that fuel tanker has a limit. Once it reaches that limit... You can't put in more fuel. So, what do men do? For example, maybe a plane now. Maybe it can fly six hours nonstop with the full load of fuel. When they want it to go further than six hours, they install extra tanks. Then that extra tank maybe gives it another one, two, or three, or four hours. And then it can go further. I pray for you this morning. That God, the hand of God, move, move you forward and move you for, further in Jesus' mighty name. When Peter encountered Jesus, his net break because the net had a limit a certain weight that he could bear. And once that weight was exceeded, the net break, they brought another sheep. The sheep also had reached their limit. And when the limit was surpassed, they began to sink. I don't know what limit is in your life. I do not know what limit or limitation that is in your life. One fellow said years ago that I should please pray with him. And uh, 
the prayer was, uh, or the limitation was that nobody in his family lives beyond 40. 40 is very old. Eh? 40 is not old. Uh Uh-uh. So you are not satisfied with 40 years. (laughs) Nobody lives beyond 40 in his family. Before they get to 40, they must die. Father die, mother die. So it's uh, it's 39 then, or it was 39 then. So it's uh, panicking. So I said, okay, we agree, we pray. And we pray, they still alive till today, many years ago. No? Mm. That in itself was a limit. So you are going to rise up on your feet this morning. You have to pray for yourself. Every glass ceiling in my life, over my life, let it be shattered. Let that be your prayer. We will explain what a glass ceiling is. In your family, your father's house, your mother's house. Everything that says nobody can attain to this height, nobody can become this, nobody can get to this level, nobody can get to this rank. Ask God to destroy your life. Everything that says nobody can be wealthy or rich, or nobody can be as wealthy as or rich as this, that is a limitation, a glass ceiling. Ask God to shatter it. Talk to God. Every limitation, every limit. In my life, over my life, the work of my hands, my business, my finances. God, destroy now. Let us be your prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nobody has ever become this before. Nobody can ever become this before. That is a limitation. Ask God to destroy it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every glass ceiling, every limitation. Over my career, my profession, the work of my hands, my business, my finances. Uh, I destroy this money in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I destroy this money in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that be your prayer. Zika Kutu. The man had four people to help him to remove the ceiling, to remove the limitation. As God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, and the numerous, innumerable company of angels uh, to remove every limitation over your life, the work of your hands, your business, your finances, uh, the love of your prayer, over your destiny, over your glory, every limitation be removed. Zeka to Undahi. Everything that we say once you get to this level, you cannot go beyond that. Has God to destroy every power saying to you, saying to your worker, your business, your finances, where you have got into will not allow you to go beyond it. Has God to destroy, has God to take you beyond where you are. Zeka to spiritually, physically, financially, materially. Zeka to to to. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 Zekate, regada bro ba 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 Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. Has got to destroy that ceiling, Zakutu, that limitation, that restriction, Rakukutu. Regada bo ba 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 zekate regada bo whatever the restriction is every evil restriction every satanic demonic occultic limitation every restriction over your life your business your finances the work of your hands your career your profession has got to destroy rakuku tu unda hi regada bo ba 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 Zekate, regadabu, 
In Jesus name. When something that has never happened before happens to a person, that person is a peace setter. You are going to cry out to God. Uh, in my father's house, in my mother's house, uh, among my father's children, my mother's children, I shall be a peace setter. Let that be your prayer. Zakuku to Undahi. What nobody has ever achieved before. I will achieve by the grace of God. Uh, what nobody has ever become before. I will become by the grace of God. Let that be your prayer. God will show me mercy and make me a peace setter among my father's children, among my mother's children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakuku to Unda He. That which nobody has ever attained to before. By the grace of God, I will attain to it and surpass it. Rakuku to Unda He. Talk to God this morning. Rakakaka. Zekatu. What nobody has ever achieved before. Lord, make me a peace setter among my father's children, in my father's house, among my mother's children. Reka to Undahi. Make me a peace setter. A trailblazer. Zakate has got to make you a trailblazer. Rakuku to Undahi. Talk to God this morning. Rekate Undahi. In my father's house, make me a trailblazer among my father's children, among my mother's children. Make me a trailblazer, make me a pesetta. Rakuku to Unda he Zekata. In Jesus' name, O oh Lord, deliver me from the powers of my father's house and the powers of my mother's house that limit progress. Rakuku to Unda He Zekate. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver the work of my hands, my destiny, my glory, my finances uh, from the powers of my father's house, uh, from the powers of my mother's house, uh, every power of my father's house, uh, every power of my mother's house uh, that limits success, uh, that limits progress. Zeka to Unda He. Oh Lord, deliver me from them. Let that be your prayer. Zeka to Regada Boba Ba 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 Zekate Regada Boba Ba 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 Deliver the work of my hands, my career, my profession from the powers of my mother's house, from the powers of my father's house. Zekate Every limiting influence in my father's house among my mother's children. I break free now. I break free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break free now. Zekate Regada Bruba Ba 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 Zekate Regada Bruba Ba 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 Tell this woman to stand up. Then come here to come and sit down. Zeka tu, Zeka te. Tell her to stand up. Zeka te. Riga da bro ba 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 ba. Zeka te. Riga da bro ba 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 ba. Zeka te. Riga da bro ba 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 ba. Zeka te. Riga da bro ba 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 ba. Zeka te. Riga da bro ba 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 ba. Zeka te. Every limiting influence in my father's house, in my mother's house. Lord, deliver me. Lord, set me free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakuku to Unda He. Zeka te. Regada bo ba 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 ba. Zeka te. Whether the devil likes it or not. Whether the powers of my father's house, the powers of my mother's house. Whether they like it or not. I shall make it and I shall make it on time. I shall make it and I shall make it on time. Let that be your prayer. Zekate. Every power 
that does not allow them to make it on time in my father's house in my mother's house oh lord set me free oh lord set me free oh lord set me free reka kutu unda hi zeka te every power that is saying i will not make it lord set me free every power that is saying i will make it but i will not make it on time lord destroy their power over my life let that be your prayer zeka te Regular boo ba 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 Zekate, Zekate, the grace to make it on time. Let it come upon me. Let it come upon me, O oh Lord. Ask God to put that grace upon you. The grace to make it and to make it on time. The grace to make it and to make it on time. The grace to make it and to make it on time. Ask God to put it upon your life. Zakukutu. Zekate. I shall make it and make it on time. Let that be your prayer. I shall make it and make it on time. Zekate. Regala bro ba 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 ba. Zekate. 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 Rekate. Zekate. The grace to make it and make it on time. Whatever it is. Whether it's to build a house, to buy a car, to marry, to have children. Zekate. The grace. They cut it to make it and to make it on time. Oh Lord, give to me. Let that be your prayer. They cut it. Regala bo ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, you are going to pray. My heavens will not be closed. They cut it. Elijah said, "At my word, he shut up the heavens for three and a half years." That is a limitation. Zekate, I will not operate under open heavens. Command your heavens to open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The heavens over your work, your business place. Zekate, command it to open now. Zekate, I will not operate under closed heavens. Let that be your prayer. Declare that your heavens are open this morning. I will not operate under closed heavens. I will not operate under closed heavens. My heavens are open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zekatu wunda he. Zekate. I declare over your life this morning. Come out from closed heavens. Your heavens will not be closed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command your heavens to open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command your heavens to open now. The heavens over where you walk in. The heavens over where you live. I command them to open now. The heavens over the work of your hands. The heavens over your career, your promotion, your profession. I command them to be open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rekate. Declare your heavens open. Declare your heavens shall not be short. Rakuku to wunda hi. Zekate. Regala bro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regala bro ba 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 ba. Zekate. I forbid close heavens over your life. I forbid close heavens over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command your heavens to open now. I command your heavens to open now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rakaka. Zekate. Regala bo. Regala bro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regala bo ba. Zekate. Zekate. Regala bo. In Jesus' name, every limitation that is spiritual, physical, financial, monetary, material, marital, let it be destroyed now. Let it be your prayer. Every limitation, whether it be spiritual, whether it be physical, whether it be financial, monetary limitation, material limitation, marital limitation, let it God destroy now. Let it be your prayer. Every limitation of every kind. Spiritual limitation has got to destroy. Financial limitation has got to destroy. Physical limitation has got to destroy. Marital limitation has got to destroy. Zekate. Monetary limitation has got to destroy. Material limitation has got to destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to God this morning. Whatever the nature of the limitation. 
I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Zekati. In the life of every man, every woman here this morning. In the life of every person. Under the sound of my voice. I destroy every limitation in your life. Financial limitation. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Physical limitation. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual limitation. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Marital limitation. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Monetary limitation. I destroy in the name of Jesus Christ. Zekate. Zakuku to wound he. Talk to God this morning. Zekate. Every power saying you will not attend to your desire. Ask God to destroy. Every power saying that your expectation will not come to pass. Ask God to destroy. He said the expectation of them who are righteous will not be limited. It will not be cut asunder. Zekate. Every power that wants to put your expectation asunder. Ask God to destroy now. Zekate. Regalabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Zekate. Regalabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Zekate. Ask God to destroy. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord who sing a sing on. Praise his holy name. Like a 
you are going to pray against uh, restricted movement and mobility. When a person is arrested, his movement is restricted. When a person is locked up, whether in jail, in cell, in prison, his movement is restricted. When a person is under house arrest, his movement is restricted. You are going to crowd to the Lord. Every power restricting my movement, let God destroy now. Let that be your prayer. Every power restricting the movement of my life, the work of my hands, my business, my finances, God destroy now. Let that be your prayer. Every limited, every restricted movement, mobility concerning the work of my hands, my business, my finances, oh Lord, destroy let that be your prayer. Oh Lord, destroy. Oh Lord, destroy. Zakuku to Unda He. Every power that has detained you. Every power that has arrested your business, your finances. Every power that has incarcerated your destiny and your glory. Has got to set you free now. Zakuku to Unda He. Rigada Bruba Baba 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 be restricted. Rakuku to Unda He. Regada Bruba Baba 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 Zekate. Regada Bruba Baba 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 Zekate. Regada Bruba Baba 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 Zekate. 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 Speak over your life. Speak over your destiny, your glory, your business, your finances, the work of your hands. Declare concerning your business, your finances, your movement. The movement of this business will not be restricted. The mobility of this business will not be restricted. This business will not be incarcerated, will not be detained, will not be arrested, will not be put under house arrest. Let us be your prayer. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. Zekate, regada bo ba. In Jesus' name, Jabez said, "O Lord, enlarge." So Jabez was saying to God, "I don't want to be limited in time and in space. I don't want to dwell in a restricted place. You are going to cry out to God, my time and pace." Place, space will not be limited. I come out of every restriction. Let that be your prayer. Zekate, enlarge my coast. Zekate, Zekate. Maybe there are powers that have said that if you will not go beyond Lagos, your wealth and your riches will not go beyond your state. That is a restriction. Talk to God this morning. I will not be limited in time and space. Zekate, the sons of the prophet said to him, this place is too small. It is restricting us. Let us build a bigger place. Every satanic restriction in time and space, let God destroy your life. Let that be your prayer. Let God destroy. Zekate, Every restriction in your life has got to destroy. In Jesus' name. You are going to pray that prayer again. You see, restriction or limitation can be anything. And there are families where nobody has crossed schools at before. That's a restriction. Uh, it does not matter how much they try. They just can't go beyond it. That is a limitation. You are going to cry out to God. Maybe your own is academics. Huh? Maybe your own is your career. You are going to ask God to destroy every restriction in your life. Let that be your prayer. Zekate. Zekate. Declare over your life. I will not be limited in time and space. Professionally, I will not be limited. Academically, I will not be limited. Materially, I will not be limited. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zekate. 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 It cannot happen. It has never happened. Let God terminate it in your life. Zekate. Rigada bro 
ba 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 every satanic restriction rakukutu rigala bo ba 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 zekate rigala bro ba 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 zekate rigala bro ba 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 in Jesus name you are still going to pray for yourself again every restriction years ago one fellow said that uh, he said nobody had driven a car in his family before in his lineage before uh, not even help me to go and wash the car and they drove it yeah he said has never happened before in his family and God had told me to give him a car so when I gave him the car he said, God told him, I moved that man to give you the cast to break that limitation in your generations. They have never, not that, they, not only in his too big, oh, uh, even somebody just said, carry me from here to Adeola Odeko. Nobody in his lineage has ever driven a car before. He said, God said, I moved that man to give you that car to break that limitation. Mm. Listen to the radio a few days ago, one pastor. He said, they took people living in his house to go and eat in one big expensive restaurant. Everybody but I made nanny and this and that. And they got there. They gave them the menu, order whatever you want. And uh, maybe the person said nanny or what the house, whatever it was. So the waiter came and the person got up uh, to talk to the waiter. I was telling the, he said to the waiter, uh, sir, please. So the pastors told him to sit down. Uh, he said, no, you don't stand up. Uh, that's why he's waiting on you. You see, he has been used to standing up. Uh, that's a limitation. You see, those things seem very, very little. Yes. All that that person has known all his life is you have to stand up for it. So even when they took him or her to a very expensive restaurant and they are saying, what do you want to eat? He got up and was addressing the waiter, sir. This. He said, sit down. You are going to cry out to God again. Every limitation in my life. Eh? Maybe nobody in your family has ever entered the airplane before. That's a limitation. Eh? Not even from Lagos to Abuja. Nobody in your lineage has ever entire. That is a limitation. Look at your background and fish out limitations and ask God to destroy them. Zakukutu. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Has got to destroy every limitation in your life. Rakukutu. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate. Regadabro ba 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 ba. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. Zekate, regada bro ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, you are still going to pray. Many decades ago, many, many decades ago, like three, four decades ago, we had this, uh, or my parents had this small boy that was uh, living with them and all of that. And uh, one of my brothers woke up to fry egg. So he brought out butter. Not granite or not margarine or butter to fry the egg. You know people use palm oil to fry egg? Or oh, you don't know? Okay. So this boy saw somebody using butter to fry egg. And he said in Yoruba, he said, ah, 
he didn't know that there is life somewhere. Uh, as, uh, he, he, said, he said they hid it uh, because he saw somebody frying egg with uh, butter. He said he didn't know that there is life somewhere else. They've hid the life. You are going to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, I don't know the life that you have not experienced before that you have seen other people experiencing. And I don't know the life uh, that you want to experience, but it seems uh, elusive. Ask God to deliver it into your hands. Zakukutu. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Zekate. Zekadabru ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zagadabu ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Every restriction in your life, every limitation. Zekakutu. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zaka. Two, regard up, bro, ba 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 ba. In Jesus' name, you're going to pray again for yourself. It's possible for them to be moving a person from one department to the other in the organization without moving him or her up. So it is possible for a person to have movement sideways without her moving up vertically. You are going to cry out to the Lord. Every power that says I will not rise up. Every power that says I will not rise up. That I can move right. I can move left. But I will not rise up. Let God destroy. Let that be your prayer. They have been transferring you from one town to the other. Without promotion. They have been transferring you from accounts department to admin, to finance, to marketing for 12 years without promotion. Ask God to destroy every such power. Every power that says you can move horizontally without moving vertically, without moving up. Ask God to destroy. Zekate. Rigada bro ba 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 Zekate. Rigada bro ba 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 It is true that you are moving, but you are just moving sideways. You are not moving up. Zekate. Rigada bro ba 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 Zekate. Rigada bro ba 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 Zakukutu. In Jesus' name. Do you know that the enemy can be playing game with a person's life? Uh, they used to play one game. I don't know if they still do it. Uh, snake and ladder. Uh, when the snake bites you. Uh, you are going to cry to the Lord. Every power that is playing game with my life. Every power that is playing snake and ladder with my life. Uh, that is using my life to play Ludo. They say they peck at me. Go back and go and start again. Let God destroy. Let that be your prayer. Every power that is using your life to play game, to play snake and ladder, to play Ludo, Zekate has got to destroy that power now. Let that be your prayer. Zekatu. Rigada bro ba 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 Zekate, regala bro, ba 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 ba. Zekate, zekate, zekate. Every power using my marriage uh, to play ludo, God is swear. Let me up here. Every power using my business and my finances uh, to play snake and ladder, has got to destroy. Regala bro, ba 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 ba. Zekate, regala bro, ba 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 ba. Zekate. Every power that is saying, go back and start. Go back and start from the beginning. Has got to destroy. Every power that keeps sending you back to the starting point. Has got to destroy. Every man, every woman, every woman power that keeps sending you back to the beginning to start again. Has got to destroy. Zekate. 
Zekati. Rigada bro ba 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 ba. Zekati. Rigada bro ba 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 ba. Zekati. In Jesus name. Luke 60. Reading from 90. There was a certain rich man. Which was clothed in purple and fine linen. And ate sumptuously every day. <laughs> there used to be one man, she remembered the story. Every day is like a feast. Uh, every day is like a, a festival. Every day, every evening. The rich man ate well every they used to bring food to his house from one Chinese restaurant which his friend owned every evening. Himself wives, many wives, sumptuously every evening. The rich man was clothed in purple and fine. You know, clothes can be a restriction. I've not come to talk about materialism now. I'm just preaching what I saw inside the Bible. Clothes can be what? Uh, when I hear the price, they are buying some lace like this. <laughs> uh, I can't remember one ridiculous price, whether 10 million or something. The thing is full of holes. I said, okay, if this thing hook more to a door now and make prayer. And, they are, and when they wear three months, six months, they say it's out of fashion. They are going to go to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. What I desire to wear. You know, desire is not the same thing as need or want. There are three different things. This is what I need. That's the starting point. This is what I want. Then this is what I... He opened his hands and satisfied the desires of all living creatures. What I desire to wear. The rich man what what he desired. The rich man dressed in what he desired. What I desire to wear. Let God provide for me. Let that be your prayer. Not what is available. Not what is available. Cry out to God. What concerning what concerning what are we put on? Shirt, dress, clothes, skirt, blouse, shoes. There shall be no restriction. There shall be no limitation. This unbeliever of a man wore what he desired. There was no limitation in what he wore. There was no restriction. The Bible says he dressed in purple and fine linen every day. He wore what he wanted every day. In Jesus' name. And you see a man years ago, extremely wealthy man, and uh, his shirt was torn at the elbow. His shirt was torn. Ah. So I said, ah, excuse me, ah, your shirt is torn at the elbow. So he looked at it. Ah, he, ah, he said he didn't know. Ah. He said, I don't have to impress anybody. Mm. You don't go to wear rag today now. You know that they will say it's fashion. Uh, uh, he does not have to impress. Uh, he can wear anything. He dress well. He no dress well. They say, ah, that's so rich people they do now fashion. I'm telling you, they will turn it to fashion. Uh, he wore fine linen and purple every day. And he ate sumptuously. Uh, Man said that uh, when you don't have money, so your wife will be calling you by name. Larry, 
take food. Your food there for table. <laughs> uh, your food there for table. He said, when money come, he said, if you come, daddy, what? He uh, said, daddy, uh, daddy, uh, daddy uh, he said, no, be you born how? Uh, when Sabbath is calling you, daddy, know that God has visited you. Uh, uh, said, what do you want to eat? Uh, he ate what he wanted uh, you are going to cry out to the Lord. Uh, the psalmist said, the Lord is my shepherd. He brought me to a banquet table and fed me sumptuously. All the days of my life, Lord, uh, feed me sumptuously. Let that be your prayer. No restriction. Uh, the only restriction will be, I don't want to eat this thing. Too much fat, uh, too much cholesterol. Not because there is no money. God to provide for you sumptuously. That anything that you choose not to eat will be because you don't want to eat it. Not because of financial restriction or material restriction. He ate sumptuously every day. In Jesus name. There was a certain rich man and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. You are going to go to the Lord in prayer. I said uh, some while back. Well, how to liberty? I can't remember. And God told me, "Sir, why are you getting irritated?" Mm. Yeah. He said, "Or oh, you want to be the one, uh, to be to be begging?" Ah, I said, "No, sir." Bible says, "After you have suffered for a while." God strengthen, establish you, and said to you. And there was a certain beggar named everything that is called beggarly in my life. Has God to destroy. Let that be your prayer. Everything. And there was a certain rich man. And there was a certain beggar. God created both of them. But their circumstances, the circumstances of their life, uh, we are far apart. And there was a certain beggar talk to God in Jesus' name. <laughs> the way you are praying this prayer now, no, no. There's one program on TV called the uh, Flatmates. The gate man is called the prosper. He's always begging. He's always what? Everybody that comes to that, he begs everybody. Yeah. Uh, even Titus will be telling him, you can be bearing prosper. Uh, even Titus, that is a barber, he says, you today beg. Hmm. You are going to go to the Lord in prayer. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate, full of Souls and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his souls. The dogs were his caregiver. The dogs, uh, he had no money to go to hospital. The dogs were his caregiver. The Lord said to me many, many years ago in the late 90s, He said, So many people have settled for the crumbs of life. Uh, let me tell you something. In heaven, we will see those who are rich and those who are poor. That's not a criteria for going to heaven. Holiness without which no man shall do what? Uh, it's not about how much money. Yes, it is true that a man's life consists not of the things that he has. Uh, but that's not there. Uh, there will be rich people there and poor people. It's your decision to make. Mm. 
You are going to cry out to the Lord. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's. What was his expectation? Crumbs. What was his expectation? Crumbs. You are going to cry out to the Lord. In this season of great expectations, sir, I will not settle for crumbs. Let that be your prayer. I will not settle for what is little or what is small. In this season of great expectation, I will not settle for crumbs. Let that be your prayer. I will not settle for crumbs. I refuse to settle for crumbs. In my life, in my marriage, the work of my hands, my business, my finances, my career, my profession, I refuse to settle for crumbs. Let that be your prayer. I refuse to settle for crumbs. I refuse to settle for crumbs. My business, the work of my hands, will not settle for crumbs. I will not settle for crumbs. Let that be your prayer. Zekate. Rigadabru ba 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 Zekate, Rigadabru, Baba, 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 Zekate, Rigadabru, Baba, 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 I will not settle for crumbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakakaka, Zekate, in Jesus' name. Second Kings 4 1 to 7. Second Kings 4 1 to 7. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my, mas- my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him all my two sons, unto him my two sons to be born men. The man lived a holy life, righteous, godly, fear of God. He died in debt. It's the understanding that you have. He says you know the truth. And that's what he's going to set you free. Maybe you are here this morning. You are owing money. Proverbs 22, 7 says, The rich ruler over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Uh, you have switched off your phone six months ago because of so-called loan. Uh, <laughs> Abby? I'm on one. Uh, they have changed SIM card because of so-called loan. Uh, the borrower is servant <laughs> to the lender. <laughs> you are owing 10,000 naira. You are changing SIM card. Uh, <laughs> the people that are owing 100 billion, they are eating sumptuously every day. Uh, they are eating what? Okay. You know how many jets Dango to get? Personal for company. Yeah. Is it not owing money? Ask God to deliver you from debt. Yeah. That thing doesn't let a person sleep well. Mm. If the person that you are owing money is coming, you will dodge. Mm. You are owing rent. You, landlord come, caretaker come, you will dodge. Mm. The rich rule it over the poor, and the borrower is servant uh, to the lender. Ask God to deliver you from debt. Past, present, and future. Every yoke, every burden of debt has got to deliver you from it. The 
The lender came to take her two sons away. And that was not going to stop them from collecting their money. Until God intervened, ask God to intervene in your situation and deliver you from debt. In Jesus' name. First Samuel 2, 27 to 36. First Samuel 2, 27 to 36. I'll read 31. Behold, the days come, that's God speaking concerning the house of Eli, that I will cut off thine arm and the arm of thy father's house, that there shall not be an old man in thine house. That's the first. Just see how many times God repeated that thing. 32, and thou shalt see an enemy in my habitation and in all the wealth which God shall give Israel. And there shall not be an old man in thy house forever. That's the second time he's repeating it. 33, and the man of thine whom I shall cut off from mine altar shall be to consume thine eyes and to grieve thine heart. And all the increase of thine house shall die in the flower of their age. That's the third time. 34, and this shall be a sign unto thee. That thou shalt that, that shall come upon thy two sons, that's Eli, on Hophni and Phineas. In one day they shall die both of them. Four times in four consecutive verses. You are going to pray for yourself. In some families, they don't grow old. They don't do what? Yes, sir. Nobody they old for there. They must try to die before old age. They must die. You are going to go to the Lord in prayer. Everything that is not allowing them to grow old in my father's house, in my mother's house, let me be destroyed in my life. Let that be your prayer. Everything. God placed a limitation over the house of Eli forever. Nobody will grow old there. He said there in 33, and they shall die in the flower of their age. They shall die young. That shall not be your portion. Let that be your prayer. Everything limiting men and women from growing old. In my father's family, in my mother's family. Lord, destroy it in my life. Let that be your prayer. Let it be destroyed. In Jesus' name. 36. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left in thine house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread and shall say, Put me, I pray thee, into one of the priest's offices that I might eat a piece of bread. Uh, is everybody in the house of Eli that does not die young? They will become beggars. They will become what? Uh, you are going to pray that prayer again. He said they will crouch. Do you know what it means to crouch like this? Uh, for what? A piece. Not a loaf of bread, though. A piece a muscle of bread. And put me, just, just employ me in any place. Don't find place for me in, in your organization. Ask God to destroy every such thing in your life that causes men and women that say this one will beg forever. 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 Ask God to destroy every such thing in your life. Let that be your prayer.
In Jesus' name. Amen. First Samuel 3, 14. And therefore have I sworn unto the house of Eli, that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice of offering forever. It's a terrible thing. He said, no matter what they bring, I will not be at peace. First Peter 1, 18 to 19. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things, uh, silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamp without blemish and without spot. Whatever it is that you have done, this is a prayer of mercy now. Uh, he said, I will not show Eli's house mercy. No matter what they say or do, no matter what they bring, he said, I will not agree. But the Bible says, it's not so with us. For we are redeemed with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamp without blemish or spot. Whatever it is that you have done, ask God to show you mercy. Go to the Lord in prayer. Ask God for mercy. Ask God to show you mercy. In whatever area of your life, you don't even have to need, you don't need to have even done anything wrong. Just that I just need mercy, oh Lord. I just need mercy, oh Lord. Let that be your prayer. I just need mercy, oh Lord. By reason of the blood of Christ. Lord, show me mercy because of the blood of Christ that was shed. Let that be your prayer. That by reason of that blood, every limitation be destroyed. Every restriction be destroyed. The Bible says the blood of Christ speaks better things. Begin to thank God for answered prayers. Thank God for destroying every limitation, every restriction in your life. Whatever it is that kills people in the flower of their age, in your father's house, in your mother's house, thank him that he has set you free. Eternal Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We worship you. We exalt you. We lift you high. We glorify your name. I pray for everyone here this morning, everyone other the sound of my voice. Every limit, every limit, every limitation, every limiting power, influence in their life. Let it be destroyed now in Jesus' name. Amen. Every demonic occultic restriction in any area, any aspect, any sphere of their life. Let it be destroyed now in Jesus' name. Amen. That from today, in every area, every aspect, every sphere of their life, they begin to ascend. Let them begin to ascend. Let every area of their life begin to ascend. Let your name be glorified. This we done with thanksgiving in Jesus' name.